All right, I shot a deer last fall that I definitely wanted to get aged. I was very interested to see how old this deer was. And in this video, I'm going to show you the process of tooth extraction and the program I chose. And here it is. If you go to your browser and just type in deerage.com, this page will pop up. There are different things. I'm not gonna go through the whole website. You can do that yourself. But the service and pricing I do wanna go through, you click submit your teeth, and these are the packages that you can order. They have three different packages. There's one that's an $89 package. This is you get your results within one week. The next is a $57 package, and that is, I believe, in 45 days. And the last one is a $33 package, which is a 90-day turnaround time. So depending on when you want your teeth results back, um, this will be one of the packages that you choose. And what I'm gonna do is kind of walk you through the process of how to take the teeth out. Even though I already did it because this thing stinks, my taxidermist, uh, he saved me my bottom jaw and he saved me one side of it, but it was very important that I had the front mandible on it. So when you take a look at it and this thing stinks, this is why I'm out here in the garage. What you have to do is you have to remove, remove those two front incisors. And this is not easy, especially if you've let your jawbone. I wish I would have done it when it was fresh. Uh, so if you're watching this, if you're ever considering aging your deer, do it as soon as possible. What you need to do is I took a pair of box cutters and I took these out, and this is why I didn't film it, because it really took two hands to do it. And you need to cut down the front of the incisor. So you need to take those, take those, uh, any basically sharp knife or whatnot, and cut down through the gum line on both sides. So you're gonna wanna cut down through the gum line on both sides. And then I did it as well in the back as far as I could, or I'm sorry, the front as far as I could go. And the hardest part is getting these teeth out, these two incisors. If you take a look at it, here they are. If getting these two incisors out, and I'll take them out of the bag here in a second, without breaking the roots. Because what this is is Centium annuli testing, and it's pretty pretty efficient. I guess up the Northern Hemisphere, it's 85% and above for white-tailed deer. When you get down south, like Florida states like that, I guess it drops to around 65, 70%. So the Northern Hemisphere, which I'm in, is very accurate. And what they do is they take one of these teeth and how it was explained to me is basically just like a tree. They cut it into very thin pieces and then they measure the rings in it and it gives a very accurate age. So what I did, and you, and please be careful, because I actually, if you see this tooth right here, I busted it. I was trying to rip out one of the teeth around it to try to make them a little bit looser because this was, this was difficult. I wish I would have soaked it in water or did something like that. After you cut all the way down through, I was able to take it and I could press with my thumb. I actually went inwards and it popped the entire root right out. And that's how I got my two uh, samples. Now, they only need one. And I'm gonna try to open this up here. They only need one sample, but they take two just for a backup. And this is what it looks like. There's different grades for these teeth. And what you want is, I'm gonna turn this around. What you want is the entire root showing. So you do want the whole sample. I did get these out without breaking either one of them, luckily. So if, 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 it's, if it breaks off too much, they unfortunately they can't age it. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you the kit it came in and then future video I'm gonna do the unrevealing because I honestly, I moved into this property this year. I had a buck come up. Uh, he was one of the lowest scoring buck antler wise but I put him as the most mature. I have no history of him, but I definitely think he's five and a half. It's gonna really surprise me if he's under that. Uh, so this is why I'm doing one of these tests for the first time. But Deer Age sends you one of these packets. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this information, and this one is for you to keep. It's basically like a pamphlet, and they say what they're doing. They show you how to do it. There's three different ways. You can either send in the two front uh, incisors, you can cut the whole front mandible off and they'll, it's like for a $5 charge, or you can send the jaw in, and I believe that's over here, they show you, you can send the jaw in. I removed just the two because it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, but I did worry I was gonna break it. So what I'm gonna do is during this test, I'm gonna put the teeth in this little, where would that go? Here it is. I'm gonna put the teeth in this package, seal it up, place it between these two envelopes, and basically send it in the mail. Now, the only thing is, is when you send these teeth in through the mail, you cannot do it through the machine. You gotta tell the post office, whoever you're sending through, because I guess the machines can crush the teeth and ruin your sample. So I'm gonna put this together and uh, send it out tomorrow, and then you're gonna see me open up the results and hopefully 
knock on wood, hopefully it's over five and a half. If it's not, I guess I'm pretty terrible at aging deer. Peel the top off, seal it up, place it between the two cards that they give you. Put it in the free envelope package. Seal that up, write my return address, and this is good to go. Now I'm just gonna wait on the results. So without further ado, I want to show you the aging results of my deer. What do you do is you click on customer login, and this is, you can see your order history, you go to the shop to order again, they have down here, you can put in the state and see where you rank depending on the year of how old your deer was. But when you click view my samples, here is my results from my deer. And needless to say, I am very excited when I found this out. If you look up here, he was eight and a half years old. So definitely on the decline. Uh, a, the oldest buck I've ever killed by far. I am very ecstatic about that. I, I got it, made a bunch of phone calls afterwards. I was hoping more than five and a half. Uh, definitely knew he was a mature deer. Didn't know eight and a half, but by far the oldest deer I've ever killed. So I will be using this website again for sure in the future. I don't even care if it's if I think it's two and a half, three and a half year old. It's it's pretty unique process. Saw that in the video on how they do everything. And you know, I definitely give it two thumbs up and recommend it to anybody if you're looking to get your deer aged. Remember to like, subscribe, because we have a ton of deer videos coming out for our deer tour this year, and you're not gonna wanna miss it.